What's up, guys? Duck Jitsu bringing you Dojo Wars, the final chapter, the narrated edition. This is uh, my buddy Byron, lives in Germany. Give you guys a little context. Uh, I wrestled with him uh, in high school for a year, he was an exchange student. He's, uh, you know, he's one of those delusional guys that thinks he can just, uh, you know, man strength his way through, you know, most people. He literally said that he won't train with a a female because he's too strong. And he said he could uh, kick my ass. So we put this uh, theory to the test. And uh, I brought him to one of my seminars I was teaching uh, in Germany. A little friendly banter just going back and forth. When I say that uh, that thug dude, I met scumbag Steve. He's the guy in all the memes. He reminds me of Byron just slightly with uh, his cringiness. So I'm going to let this play and then we'll get to the roll. We got Dojo Wars <laughs> featuring Byron, the most douchiest white belt you'll ever meet. People should start making memes of Byron's face next to that thug dude that, that tries jujitsu. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get some good footage of uh, Byron. Fourth jujitsu class, third. I think it's the 4,537th mil. Byron said he's uh, he's above the technique. He just wants to show up for the sparring, the class. <laughs> just want to kick their phone's ass. That's some, what I came here for. Get some randori in. So hopefully I'll get some good footage of this. It'll be priceless. Put the, the duck on the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> Give him some good stuff. All right, here we go. Starting off, you know, just some collar tie action. Heavy on the head. Let me remind you guys, if Byron were a jujitsu persona, he'd be a, a Dylan Dennis of the jujitsu game. So I gotta I gotta work him over. Alright. Nice little leg grab, you know. He's he hasn't wrestled in a while, but his wrestling still felt fairly strong. You know, he doesn't look like a big dude, but he probably weighs about 190. Somewhere around there, 195 maybe. He has a really built uh, upper body. And right now I'm just kinda you know, playing with him. He's keeping a, a fairly disciplined stance. He's really he's really low, which is, you know, kind of surprising for his uh, his lack of uh, jiu-jitsu experience. It's a nice, nice sprawl, and I just bullied him over with an underhook. So now it gets fun. Start to get my hooks in. I'm going power half. Pay the price. And I just bail out. I just bail out. He's feeling, you know, he's feeling like he was hurting his shoulder. I don't want to hurt the guy. And then we get to half guard. And the guy, he came to my seminar. He learned something. We worked on Kasoto hook and building up with the underhook. So he doesn't do the Kasoto hook. But you know what? The guy comes up with the underhook. Good for him. Good for him third or fourth class and he does one every year so uh, I was proud of him so I give him a single leg and then I teleport to his back wrist to wrist elbow comes forward and I get the RNC I wait to cross my ankles above the hip line and then I apply a slow strangle first one at this point he knows he's a little outmatched Starts on the knees, comes right into me for a hook sweep. Again, we teleport right to the back. I said too easy, already hit that move. And I'm going back to my power half, Nelson. Uh, he's staying pretty rigid on the uh, high C outside single, so I sat the corner. 
And uh, he's giving me a strong wrestling reaction where he's bellying out here. Starts to build up to his base. And here I am again. You know, lacing the RNC. Falling back. You know, locking in a modified body triangle here. I get the finish. Go over the feet. So, I think at this point he knows he only has, you know, maybe one more go in him. He's, he's feeling pretty, pretty fatigued. And I'm just going high stance and I'm waiting for him to, you know, grab a leg just so I can counter him because I know in these positions he's working fairly hard. Nice little Tai Toshi there. Boom. Muay Thai clinch. Hit the 10 star. And then I flex on him with uh, a Dars here shooting it through. Get to the mount. And at this point, he's done. He's done. Look at that. That dope boy's out of breath. Look you at good? that face. Yeah, puffing yeah, and puffing. Dojo Ward. Someone get that man a white belt. The final saga. Get him a white belt. Get him into a with Jiu Jitsu class. He can't hang with the duck. Get out of here. That's the final Dojo War narrated edition for you guys. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff.